And on the flip side of the great phone divide, sources are reporting that Samsung's next Galaxy S flagships, the S21 and S30, will be launched in January with three new models, a Standard, a Plus, and an Ultra, quoting Android Central. A January arrival for the Galaxy S21, combined with a mid-November debut for Apple's top-end iPhone 12 Pro Max, would see the Apple and Samsung flagships launching closer together than ever before. While the immediate post-holiday period isn't typically seen as a great time to launch new products in the West, Samsung may be looking to capitalize on delays to its rival's 2020 handsets with this earlier launch. Following recent rumors of the phones entering mass production earlier than ever, Leaker Steve Hemmerstoffer has revealed the design of the Galaxy S21 on his voice page. Hemmerstoffer, who also goes by at OnLeaks, published CAD renders of an S21 with a 6.2-inch display, hole-punch selfie camera, and more uniform bezels than the Galaxy S20. These kinds of renders have proven to be accurate in the past, and Hemmerstoffer has a solid track record. Around the back of the Galaxy S21, there's a new style camera module that seems to extend from the phone's outer frame. Dimensions are quoted as being 151.7 by 71.2 by 7.9 millimeters, or 9 millimeters with the camera bump, making the S30 slightly wider than the S20, but otherwise very close in size to its predecessor. In a separate leak, Hammerstoffer released purported renders of the larger flagship Galaxy S21 Ultra, like the S20 and Note 20 Ultras. This one has a larger display and a honking camera bump on the back, along with four sensors, a laser autofocus module, and a flash, end quote. Okay, but when is someone going to release a phone called the Knee Plus Ultra? Ultra. 